Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem, and our alma mater. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today, June 20th, we, the senior class of 2002, are graduating. We're not just graduating high school, but we are about to embark on a journey. A journey to new places, places that some of us are aware of and to others are still a mystery. But have no fear, there's nothing wrong with not knowing which path to choose, which one is right for you. Because as the Phantom Tollbooth once said, there are no wrong roads to anywhere. Buckle your seatbelts because it is going to be a bumpy ride with lots of turns and dips, but that's what makes it incredible. We're standing here with the rest of our lives ahead of us, a million opportunities awaiting our arrival. Some of us are preparing to go to college, maybe even the Army, and some of us are getting ready to look for a job. To whichever you decide, keep your head high, follow your dreams, and never give up. Reach for the stars. Now these next few years may be rough, but look how hard the 13 years were and how far we have come. Look back on your times at East Brunswick High School and smile because we are who we never would have been without each other. Today, you should be proud. Look at what we've accomplished at such a young age. Imagine what we can do with the doors now open to us. I wish you all the best of luck with everything you choose to do. Like Pink Floyd said, long you'll live and high you'll fly. Congratulations, con class of 2002. Fellow students, teachers, parents, family, and friends, I would just like to share with you a couple of things that my mom puts in front of my face every time I feel like I'm losing my confidence. It's called Pretty Success for Failures by Ann Landers, and I hope it helps you like it helps me. 
Einstein was four years old before he could speak. Isaac Newton did poorly in grade school and was considered unpromising. Beethoven's musical teacher once said, as a composer, he is hopeless. When Thomas Edison was a youngster, his teacher told him he was too stupid to learn anything and was directed into a field where he may succeed by his personality. F.W. Woolworth had a job in a dry goods store when he was 21, but his employer would not allow him to wait on customers because he didn't have enough sense to close a sale. Michael Jordan and Hall of Famer Bob Cousy were cut from their high school basketball teams. A newspaper editor fired Walt Disney because of his lack of imagination and he had no good ideas. Winston Churchill failed the sixth grade and had to repeat it. Babe Ruth struck out 1,300 times, which is a major league record. The point is, nothing is impossible. Follow your dreams, learn from your mistakes, respect others, and never give up. We'd like to thank our teachers and our family for all of your love, wisdom, guidance, and support throughout our years. Now we'll proceed on our own and take with us all the values, morals, and the lessons that you have taught us. Lastly, but most importantly, we'll never forget the tragic events of September 11th, the day our lives changed forever. God bless the men and women overseas fighting for our country. Always keep them in our prayers for their safe return home and for world peace. Congratulations, class of 2002. Two weeks ago, while I was sitting bored at my desk, I came across an article in Newsweek about the rising and brilliant inventor, Dean Kamen. Now, Kamen was anything but a model scholar while he was in school. When asked to select the word that did not belong in the set, add, subtract, multiply, and increase, Kamen chose the word add, not for mathematical reasons, but because all the other words had seven letters. Of course, Cayman's teachers scolded him for his unconventional and perhaps wrong answer. However, Cayman noted that his wrong answer wasn't really wrong. The same unexpected creativity that landed Cayman in hot water three decades ago has now turned him into one of the most celebrated and successful innovators of this century. East Brunswick has provided us with a first-rate education, one recognized nationwide. Our dedicated teachers have taught us so well how to add, subtract, multiply. They have helped each and every one of us to build a sturdy foundation for both a fruitful profession and life. How we choose to mold that mass is now up to us. Dean Kamen used his potential genius to become the next Edison and avenge the people who thought that he couldn't do a simple math problem. We too can mold our potentials to become the next Einstein, the next Marilyn Monroe, or even leave an indelible mark on history simply as ourselves. As a diverse class of over 650 students, we have experienced so much together in the past. Best friends, crushes, SATs, and of course, triumphs. Today, the joys of sincere work, worthy aspirations, and congenial friendships are to be ours. Our friends, those people that we could not have made it here without, gave us something that our parents could not give us. In turn, our parents offered us something that our friends could never offer while asking for nothing but our own success in return. They endowed us with their everlasting and tremendous love, encouragement, and inspiration. They firmly planted the roots of an inextinguishable and deeply personal dream within each and every one of us. Let them know how much you love and appreciate them while you can. It goes to all when I take this moment to thank my father, for simply and absolutely everything. We have access to a greater cache of wealth than one filled with diamonds or even sapphires. 
With 17, 18 years to our credit, we all have our youth and a vision of things not yet perceived by others. Together, we have reached not an end, but a bend in the road. As one of the incipient segments of our lives comes to a close today, we need to be receptive to new possibilities and choices in order to learn more about ourselves. Remember, no one can limit ourselves but ourselves. No one can ever know exactly what the future holds or even claim to see the panoramic picture of everything that is around him. But anyone can dream, have faith, persevere, and most importantly, do good in his own sphere. Only then will we be able to attain a success of our individual definition as leaders of tomorrow. Only then will we be able to extend the excellence currently manifested in our district to last an entire lifetime. Only then will we be able to proudly declare, I don't want to be anyone but myself. Congratulations, and thank you so much for a most memorable experience, class of 2002. God bless. Welcome parents, teachers, friends, members of the administration and Board of Ed. I welcome class of 2002. 
Before I became a teacher, I spent five years as a flamenco dancer, often winning competitions while women screamed and threw roses at my nimble, prancing feet. After that, I trained as a boxer, and I won 15 Golden Glove Championship fights before I knocked out a young British fighter named Lennox Lewis. But, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, this is Doc Kimmel's graduation speech. I'm sorry, this got mixed up with my stuff. Sorry, Doc, sorry. Okay, okay, here's, here's mine, okay. sorry. As all my students know, I am a collector of quotations. Every day I put a different quotation on the easel in my classroom. Now sometimes these quotations are related to the topic at hand, um, sometimes they're simply amusing. The appeal of quotations for me is that they pack a great amount of thought into a short, pithy phrase. And that's a skill shared by parents the world over, who often use such quotations as, because I said so, and ask such short but profound questions about your identity like, who do you think you are? Now, the challenge faced by any commencement speaker is like the challenge faced by the originator of a great quotation. You have to say something really important in a short space. So what I'd like to do now is share with you some of my favorite quotations that I think express the thoughts and wishes of all your friends, teachers, and parents in that concentrated form. Now all of these come from Shakespeare, and I'm not quoting him because it's some law of English teachers or something, but because like other great writers, he speaks to us now in as full volume as he ever addressed a crowd at the Globe Theater. Hopefully when I'm finished, you won't think, oh lame and impotent conclusion, like Desdemona does in Othello, but you'll think, all's well that ends well, like Helena does in her play of the same title. The first one comes from the mouth of a guy named Jack Cade, and he's a peasant who appears in a play called Henry VI Part II. Now at one point, Jack imagines putting this nobleman on trial, and he charges him with a terrible crime. He says to him, Thou hast most traitorously corrupted the youth of the realm by erecting a grammar school. And that's right, even little kids of the Renaissance complained about learning their multiplication tables and geography. But as you look back on the long road that led you from your first days at Irwin, Chittick, Central, Bowman Row, Lawrence Brook, Frost, Memorial, Warnsdorfer, or a school in another district, or even a school in another country, you have hopefully gained the wisdom to see that your teachers always really did have your best interests at heart. It's a long way between the ABCs and Y equals MX plus B, but it's a road on which you stayed, so congratulations on staying the course. Another quotation comes from the same play, and ironically it's from the same guy that Jack Cade imagines putting on trial. Here it is. Ignorance is the curse of God, knowledge the wings wherewith we fly to heaven. Now I especially like this one because it implies that there's something divine and almost holy about learning things. Even you yourselves may have uttered such sacred thoughts like, oh my God, when faced with the SATs. Or consider this one from a guy named Touchstone who appears in As You Like It. He says, the fool doth think he is wise, but the wise man knows himself to be a fool. His point is that only a fool ever really thinks he's reached the heights of wisdom. The world is full of people who presume to know everything, but be wary of them. As a guy named Mowbray says in Richard II, truth has a quiet breast. And as a nameless boy says in Henry V, it's the empty vessel that makes the greatest sound. The wise ones are the ones that know they have a lot more to learn. Some of my students sometimes remark that I seem to have read every book in the world, but I know that I've only read a tiny, tiny fraction of what's out there. Like Festy says in Twelfth Night, there is no darkness but ignorance, and great writers cast their lights through the shadows of time. Those of you going to college will be asked many times about your studies. What's your major? Will be the ever-present question in your life that replaces, where's your pass? You may feel pressure to study a subject that promises a lucrative career rather than the one in which you're really interested. Now when you feel that pressure, recall the words of Tranio. He's a guy in The Taming of the Shrew who says, no profit grows where there is no pleasure taken. In brief, study what you most affect. 
What if my former students decided not to attend Harvard Law School so that she could instead study Homeric Greek? That caused a ruckus, but she followed her interests rather than fold to the pressures of her peers. And when you get upset that your friends are maybe making more money than you, and believe me, if you major in the humanities, they probably will, try to remember what Prospero, the Duke of Milan, says about his own riches and powers in The Tempest. My library was dukedom large enough. No sprawling estates with three-car garages can compete with the size of a growing mind. Even the dim-witted Grimio from Taming of the Shrew recognizes the powers of libraries when he exclaims, oh, this learning, what a thing it is. Some of Shakespeare's words apply to our world in very unexpected ways. On September 11th, at the end of third period, I went to the library and I saw a number of students trying to reach their loved ones on cell phones. And as I tried to help people out and then heard about the collapse of the towers, I actually remembered the words that somebody says in Macbeth, confusion has made his masterpiece. And when I went back upstairs to my class of seniors, I told them that we would just try to continue class. It was all I knew how to do. But as we started reading parts of Homer's Iliad out loud, hearing descriptions of the horrors occurring in Troy, none of us in that room could help thinking of the horrors that were happening in another great city thousands of years after the events depicted in that poem. Early in his play, Hamlet says, the time is out of joint. And the time certainly seemed so on that terrible day. As more news about the attack trickled in, I again thought of Hamlet, where Gertrude, Hamlet's mother, cries, one woe doth tread upon another's heel. Now nine months later, when many of us have returned to our routines, we must never forget the words of the Duke in Measure for Measure, who says, virtue is bold and goodness never fearful. May we as a nation never become fearful of those who wish to do us harm. Instead, as King Henry V urges, we should always in our hearts imitate the action of the tiger. One thing of which September 11th reminded all of us is that life is a dear gift that we all too often take for granted. We should think of what Hotspur says in Henry IV. The time of life is short. To spend that shortness basely were too long. In other words, we should never become base or low in our actions and thoughts. September 11th brought out the best in many Americans and lots of us saw actions of heroism and compassion on TV and in our own lives, like the efforts of the Hoof Foundation in East Brunswick. And that causes us to feel what Hamlet does when he says, what a piece of work is man, in action, how like an angel. And what Falconbridge says of his own nation in King John can be applied to our nation as well. This England never did, nor never shall, lie at the proud foot of a conqueror. Like Shakespeare's collected works, our world is full of tragedy, but it's also full of history and comedy. In Henry IV, part two, Warwick says, there is a history in all men's lives, and your job now is to find out what that history will be. There will be no map tests or oral assessments on your future. No one could write them anyway, since as Hamlet's girlfriend Ophelia tells us, we know what we are, but not what we may be. Remember what Cassius says in Julius Caesar, men sometimes are the masters of their fates, and don't be afraid to steer your fate in the direction you wish. At the same time, consider what Toby says in Twelfth Night, I am sure that care is an enemy to life. In other words, don't fret over every little thing. Like Clarence says in Henry VI, part three, every cloud engenders not a storm. I'd also like to quote Shakespeare on the people who have made sure that you got here, your parents. Mothers, I'm sure it seems like only days have passed since you saw your children as infants in what Laertes calls the morn and liquid dew of youth. Fathers, I hope you won't get a visa bill in the mail and have cause to exclaim what Vincentio does in Taming of the Shrew when he says, while I play the good husband at home, my son spends all at the university. To all the parents here, 
I'd ask that you listen to these words from Cordelia, the sincere daughter of King Lear, and imagine your kids saying these words to you. You have begot me, bred me, loved me. I return those duties back as our right fit, obey you, love you, and most honor you. To conclude, I'd like to offer three final quotations. The first comes from The Tempest, Shakespeare's last play. Our revels are now ended. Brutus in Julius Caesar says the second. Whether we shall meet again, I know not. Therefore, our everlasting farewell take. And the third comes from the ghost in Hamlet. Adieu, adieu, remember me. Class of 2002, I speak for all the teachers and staff when I say that we will always remember you as one of the finest classes to graduate from East Brunswick High, or like Antigonus finds himself in the winter's tale, one of the finest classes to exit pursued by a bear. Thank you very much, good luck. Dr. Savadoff, members of the Board of Education, fellow administrators, faculty and staff, parents, family and friends, and students in the graduating class of 2002. It is my pleasure as principal of East Brunswick High School to welcome you to our 41st graduation ceremony. Ever changing yet eternally the same, these are lines from a Rutgers College song that I feel appropriately represent the tradition that is tied to graduations. Sitting at the computer, as I began my pre-writing on this theme, my computer spoke to me. You got mail. Easily distracted, I looked up and I saw on the message, 30th class reunion, New Brunswick High School. After getting over the shock of how quickly time has passed, I began to think back to that graduation program 30 years ago. And I have to say that I was surprised at how the traditions have remained much the same. Many of the differences included in our practicing graduation for four straight mornings, the program, which included all senior awards and ran well over three and a half hours, our athletic field, which was located next to a train station, which caused many interruptions to speeches as trains passed by. But despite all of these differences, the processional, the speeches, the musical interludes, and the distribution of diplomas were very much the same as we are doing today. I remember feeling excited and proud, a bit anxious and nervous, and even a bit sad. Sad because I probably was leaving behind the many friends I had made and the positive relationships I had with my teachers. I was excited at the possibilities that lie ahead, looking toward college in the future. But at the same time, feeling anxious and nervous because for the first time in 13 years, my life in the fall was not going to be one where I attended public school and all of the routines and traditions that went along with it. And I was very happy to be able to share that day with my family, like you, who are very proud of their graduate, ever changing yet eternally the same. The word commencement signifies not an end, but a beginning. Each of you, starting today, will begin a new phase in your lives. You will become more independent, more self-sufficient, and more productive members of our society. Your new beginning is the next step in the process that your East Brunswick High School education has prepared you to face. Whether your next step is in the world of work, serving our country in the military, or continuing your education, your life will be very different from what it has been. You will assume many rights and privileges, but at the same time, many awesome responsibilities and demands. And the very fact that you have completed your studies and are being awarded diplomas means that you have complete, uh, I'm sorry, means that your years in education have prepared you to accept those responsibilities and meet those demands. This probably represents the biggest change from then till now. Since society accepts the high school diploma, it's a it signifies that you've met the requirements established by the state and the district. But in those requirements, the number of credits, the content of the curriculum, 
and the expectation for the skills which you've been exposed to or have mastered have risen dramatically. I assure you that from what I've seen of this class over the past two years, that you have met and exceeded the expectations and high standards of our district. This class has demonstrated academic success as indicated in so many ways. The class boasts 12 national fi merit finalists, one of the highest average SAT scores in the state, and our academic teams have garnered many awards and recognition. Our athletic teams have also won many championships this year, and our performing ensembles, as you can hear, have received superior ratings in national competitions. Though high school education has changed over the past 30, 50, or even 100 years, the ultimate goal to prepare you for what comes next in your lives is still the same. Knowledge, as stated by Daniel Borston, is not simply another commodity. On the contrary, knowledge is never used up. It increases by diffusion and grows by dispersion. I guarantee you will continue to learn for the rest of your lives, and I am certain that you'll have an impact on others as they learn from you. My charge for you this day is quite simple. Find something that you can become committed to and go after it with all of your efforts and enthusiasm. You see, as Kenneth Blanchard clearly points out, there's a major difference between interest and commitment. When you're interested in doing something, you do it only when it's convenient. But when you're committed to do something, you accept no excuses, only results. On a personal note, I want to thank the senior class for an outstanding two years that we've worked together. On the first day of school this year, I asked this class to help us set a positive tone for the school. The one thing that I can truly attest to is that as a class, you have faced a number of challenges dealing with change this past year. You have afforded me the opportunity to work with you and to accept and accommodate those changes. These are very lifelong, mature skills. I know that if you continue to use them, you will help make this world a more understanding, tolerant place. On behalf of the entire staff of East Brunswick High School, I want to congratulate you on your accomplishments, those that we are celebrating today, and those that we anticipate in the future. And we wish you all the best in whatever you pursue in life. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to call upon Mrs. Moran, 12th grade administrator, to assist me in the awarding of medals of recognition to our valedictorian and salutatorian, also who are receiving awards for highest honors. First, our valedictorian, Hannah Yoon. and our salutatorian, Scott Jordan Kramer. Students are now joining their class as we present the class of 2002 to Dr. Savadoff. Good afternoon to the graduating class, parents, and guests. My gift to the graduating class is I'm going to be very brief. However, before I present the class, I would like to accomplish two things. I'd like to identify some very important people and leave you with some food for thought. There are many people who have helped you reach this point in your lives. Your teachers, beginning in kindergarten and continu continuing through the 12th grade, who were there to provide you with both the skills necessary to learn and the spark to make you and help you want to learn. Included in this group are your principals, guidance counselors, support staff, and supervisors of instruction all of who are dedicated to the students of East Brunswick 
and will be very proud to see you receive your diplomas today. The next group of people sit on this stage with me to my right, and they are members of the Board of Education. These community members, present and past, volunteer extraordinary time to ensure that the educational program in East Brunswick is second to none, and that the resources are provided to achieve that goal. They epitomize the highest ideals of community service. Lastly, and most importantly, your parents and family, who have provided you with the support, love, and encouragement to get you to this stage today. They have been there for you and will continue to be there for you in the future. You will be amazed at how much smarter they will become as you grow older. Listen to them and ask for their advice. You will find that they actually know something. Winston Churchill once said, what is the use of living if it not to be to strive for noble causes and to make this muddled world a better place for those who will live in it after you are gone? These words have taken on even more significant meaning with the events of this past year. Noble causes can be monumental or just everyday events. In recognizing your parents, teachers, and school board members, we acknowledge people who strive to make this world a better place by raising and educating children who will grow into responsible, responsible thoughtful, intelligent, and caring citizens. We hope that you will leave this muddled world better than when you entered it. You are our noble cause. As you move ahead in your lives, I have two wishes for you. First, that you make a good life for yourself, one that provides you with a good standard of living and personal success. My second wish is that you will take on noble causes to give meaning to your life and to make this world a better place for those who will come after you. Take time to volunteer for community service, coach, run for elected office, serve on community boards, or work for a charitable organization. Become your own noble cause by exercising tolerance, embracing diversity, and modeling honesty, patience, and understanding. Fighting for noble causes to make this a better world is not an easy assignment. Bigotry, racism, prejudice, intolerance, and fanaticism are tough nuts to crack. Taking on an issue that is not popular but improves the quality of life is a difficult task. So in those difficult times, take comfort from that great statesman who led Britain through its most difficult time, Winston Church Churchill, who also said, kites rise highest against the wind, not with it. Fly your personal kite against the wind and make us all proud of you. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure and honor as superintendent of schools to certify that the students assembled here have completed all state and local educational requirements for the issuance of a high school diploma and recommend to the Board of Education that they be granted their diplomas. Best of everything to you. Being in this position of board president, I am afforded the honor of speaking to the graduating class on this very special day. But I realize that most of you do not even know who I am. So in thinking about what a virtual stranger should say to an anxious group of more than 600 soon-to-be high school graduates, it became evident to me that the best speech will be the one that is quite short. So short it will be, and it won't even be entirely mine. This is because I found words that were written by a most eloquent individual, and no improvement is necessary or appropriate. These are the words of Pierre Clay from Chicago, Illinois, who was a recent junior high school graduate who spoke to his eighth grade class at William Brown Junior High School. Pierre said, as we move on to a brighter future, remember, we have been given the tools to achieve. All we have to do is apply them. There is nothing that can stop us from having a more promising future. No matter how hard it is, believe in yourself, set goals, apply what you know, and what you don't know, don't be afraid to ask. Reach for the stars and never say, I can't. Always say, I can, and success will be yours for the taking. I think Pierre Clay's words cannot be improved upon. 
Good luck to you all. And on behalf of the East Brunswick Board of Education, I accept the recommendation of the administration of East Brunswick High School and the school district and direct that the class of 2002 be awarded their diplomas. Thank you. Hannah Yoon. Scott Jordan Kramer. Meg. Erica Megan Goldman. I got this. Michelle Baera. Brent David Johnson. April Meredith Marcus. Natalie Catherine Ann Rallis. Barry Rachel Cohen. Jill Erin Dudra. Tiffany Nicole Sloan. Emily Catherine Lung. I got this. You're good. Ahab Abdel Manim. <laughs> Alex A. Abragamov. Trust me. Evan Ross Abramowitz. Albert Ack. Don't worry, I got it. Brian Benjamin Achani. Jonathan Andrew Ackerman. All business. Let's go. Marina Christina Acosta. Navid Ahmad. Nadia Aldoshin. <laughs> Francisca Aroti. Haig Altunian. Brian William Anderson. I got that. Ekaterina Andreev. Richard Antoninson. Oh, how did I miss that? Don Lester Arca. John Carlos A. Arseno. Alana Arthur. Megan Kimberly Axelberg. Robert Badillo Jr. Tamar Amro Badran. Farah K. Bakar. Joyce Marie Baxa. Balamurli V. Balaguru. Nilesh Kumar Balani. Alina Claudia Balaza. Okay. Jessica M. Balmuth. Catherine Borowski. Inna Park. Brittany Meredith Barron. Frank, where are you? Oh. Francesco Anthony Barone. James Michael Barrett. <laughs> Tiffany Kyung Lee. Ann Basta. <laughs> Dia Basu. Aaron Michelle Becker. Thanks. Gregory Robert Belisles Jr. Jonathan Adam Bellows. Joshua Craig Berger. Alyssa Berkowitz. Sean N. Batia. Roshni P. Bat. Robert Anthony Biggis. 
Liron M. Binstock. Vanessa Joy Lee. Michael Thomas Bishop. Catherine Mon Blake. Elizabeth Simone Blank. Matthew Jared Blatz. Bradley R. Block. Zachary H. Bloom. Scott Frederick Bloomhoff. Barbara Faulkner. Okay. Justina Bubotovsky. Jessica Stacy Bonder. Siddharth Bose. Jamie Beth Bosco. Sean Michael Botwinick. Sandy Boulis. Theodora Boyages. Stanislav Brand. Anna A. Bolovsky. Michelle Wilma Brightbill. Jamie Lynn Brookmere. Nicole K. Boudet. Manoj Kumar Bhupati. Zainab Shabir Burhan Pawala. Jonathan Kenneth Burke. Dallas Burns. David Kai. Patrick Michael Calabria. Jade A. Calder. You want Phil? All right. Philip Jeffrey Sean Camage. Chelsea Ann Karachi. Lauren Elizabeth Corrado. Jessica Stacy Caruso. Don't worry about me, son. Daniel Charles Chanzano. Christopher D. Chan. Dorothea Chang. <laughs> Sagib Kali Chaudhry. <laughs> Jerry Philip Chen. Christopher Yen Chen. Kevin D. Chen. Koshin Chen. Xiaoye Chen. Yi Jing Chen. Daniela Amy Cheslow. William Chung. Sarah Catherine Chicky. Fatma Amjad Chisti. Gobang Choi. Alan Cho. Trust me, I'm do my best. Chibuza Ozichuku Chikanta. <laughs> Wan Chung. David Trotko, Althea Clark, Amanda Rose Cafone, Brian Michael Cohen, Daniel Lawrence Cohen, Jason Matthew Cohen, Talia Karen Colucci, 
Megan Elizabeth Conrad. Gabriel Alfeas Kuki Jr. Brian Corbett. Luana Sanchez Cordero. Philip Cosentino. Eric John Coyman. Robert John Chris. Jose Luis Cruz. Sue Chue. Selena Marie Curtis. Megan Kathleen Daly. Siley Dange. How do you pronounce this? Paul Lee. Pamela Ariel Denenberg. Corey DiTulio. Nancy DiTunariello. Andrew Doan. Sean Patrick Donovan. Michael Ryan Dowling. I'm in a dreamy. All right. Michael Du. Christopher John Eckert. Andrea Iris Edelman. Todd Jason Edelman. Nicole Mara Edison. Matthew G. Lee. Brett Thomas Dunbar. Matthew Robert Duncombe. Alec Twerkin. Elisa Dian Ivan. Mina Adel Ektari. Anant Seshu Ellis Waterpoo. Kareem Ekoli. Anthony Tyrone Harris. Maggie Elmaragi. Brian Ang. Jillian Sloan Erdberg. Robert Sean Erickson. Susie Faze Eskander. Danielle Tamara Fenster. Michael Anthony Grinzo. Marissa Lynn Greenstein. Richard William Fernandez. I got it. Eric J. Feichbaum. Jamie Fisher. Todd Jamie Fisher. Katarina Fishman. Megan Eileen Fogarty. Matthew Scott Forer. Robert James Frace. Jennifer Claire Fraskowitz. David Nathan Frankel. Barry Ann Frankfurter. Christopher Henry Frankel. Jamie Michelle Friedman. Daniel Joshua Fredenreich. David S. Friedman. Heather Mattia Gable. 
Pritam Gadi. Margaret M. Khalil. Lisa Yakamazio. Lee Shimang Gao. Caroline T. George. Angela Cannon. Mark Stephen Pagano. Alicia Diane Brzezinski. Elise Teresa Caulfield. Hi, baby. Tara Joan DeMarzo. Jamie Lee Dowd. Oh, Lynn. Jody Lynn Ferrer. Bridget Ann Fitzgerald. Nicole Marie Franchino. Corey Allison Guberman. Kelly Ann Cowell. Jean Patrick Petriello, Jr. Amanda Elizabeth Plum. Kristen F. Porman. Jennifer Lynn Reynolds. Ayala Ron. Melanie Rutkowski. Michelle Lauren Sloan. David Eric Slotnick. Jill Marie Steiner. Jennifer Kim Way. Lee Ann Weiser. Marina Gershon. Manbaj Gill. Nicole Jumergenis. I got it. It's going to be loud, huh? Bassam W. Gerges. Robert P. Gerges. Sherry S. Gladstone. Ludmila Kluhova. Gerhan Gachman. Jillian Morrow Goldberg. Aaron Melanie Goldenberg. Matthew Evan Goldman. Ariel H. Goldstein. Rachel P. Goldstein. Anna Syed Goma. Christian Alejandro Gonzalez. Sasha D. Gonzalez. Simran Kaur Groomer. Ursula Francesca Goran. Bonnie Sharon Greenbaum. Keith Adam Greenberg. Samantha E. Grossman. I got it. Annalise Marie Gubista. Victoria T. Golinski. Anisha R. Gularajni. Justin Paul Haber. Wendy Catherine Hall. No, huh? Chad Hockenjoss. Matthew Dennis Cassidy. Michael Vito Spadafino. Lindsey K. Warren. Stephen Scott Newman. Freddie Hanna. Mary T. Hanna. Loretta Hansen. Emmanuel Manolakis. Christina Marie Harris. 
Aaron Page Harris. Erica Crystal Hart. Edward Daniel Horanzak. John T. Heinbach. Victoria L. Heitzenroder. Greg Healthman. John H. Hellick. Kevin Michael George Hendricks. Ricky Henney. Caitlin B. Herbert. Alfred Virai Hernandez. Andrew W. Herbert. Keysun Hong. Kelly Ann Hoover. Chen Ann Se. Lydia Shea. Johnny Boy, I got him. Jonathan Chen Su. David Huang. I got it. Fu Shang Huang. See, I did it, right? Harry Haiching Huang. Jason Huang. Kenny Shiswan Hong. Alexander Squire Hurst. Farah R. Hussein. I got it. All right. Vikram Ashok Ingo. Yaroslav Ivanov. Benjamin Holt Jacobs. Matthew Robert Jandanal. Ryan Andrew Jaslow. Janine April Jinx. I got it. I got it. Wiwit Jiwatekanu. Anthony T. Johnson. Marcus P. O. Johnson. Magdalena Jerkevich. What's the accent, princess? Nicole Anna Germo. I know. Alyssa Jane Kaysar. Jonathan Edward Kazmarek. Anthony John Labreda. Sarisha Kalari. Matthew M. Carroll. Jennifer H. Kang. Crystal Kang. James Kang. Michael Allen Kaplan. Stephanie Bryn Kaplan. Aaron Benjamin Karp. Mark Joseph Carpel. Jenna Brooke Katzman. Iris, I like that. Rachel Iris Kaufman. Trust me. Okay. Irene Koshansky. Jacqueline Ann Kellerman. How you pronounce it? <laughs> Ryan Patrick Kelly. Robert E. Keys. Brian Joseph, Jason Kateman. Naila Khalid. Diana Patardo. Seth Pincus. Scott W. Rockwell. Sabanti Sarkar. Shai Sheffer. Sean R. Sullivan. John C. Tang. Craig R. Torek. Lauren B. Tucker. Julia Uktia. Keep on 
Vanessa Vergara. Charles Yusri Abuziad. Crystal Rose Anderson. Abeleji Elizabeth Arozogaba. Murray Kareem Wasif. Chujen Wu. Nayun Yu. Freddie M. Zampieri. Daniela Ivy Parker. Stephen Michael Luparty Jr. Ite Miles. Lee Rochelle Markowitz. Eric Yates Mendez. No worries, man. No worries. I know it. Alexander Mark Onish. Bishoy Azer. Rodney Baumick. Malika Baumick. David B. Brumberg. Renee Madeline Campanelli. Lauren Maureen Cardoza. Elizabeth Ann Chow. Nicole Chia. I'm sorry, baby. James R. Clark. Frank Hindolo Foray. Joe Lee Freudenfels. Lisa Marie Jampola. Kenneth Ross Goldstein. Jeffrey Lee Lubin. Michael John Luxius. Doyoung Kim. Emil Kiner. Brittany Aaron Kersner. Amy Susan Klein. Gary Paul Kliegman. Alexandra Koken. Richard Paul Corman. I'll do my best, trust me, Ionis. Ionis Theodoros Korosidis. You want the middle name? Manaj? Nikit Manaj Kotari. Taryn Elizabeth Lupinacci. Laura Marie Martorelli. Emily Claire Herzog Reese. Jillian Marie Nagy. Lisa Marie Knoppenberger. Amanda Dylan Weiss. Nicole Lynn Zangrando. Elizabeth Whalen. Nicole Beth Goldman. Maura Teresa Kirby. Kira Ladishow. Ashley Stapleton. How do you pronounce the middle name? I don't know if I can do that. I'm just kidding. Aaron Lee Kenny. Chantelle Marie Hagen. Melissa Rachel Frank. <laughs> I was right. Carrie Ann Devine. Allison Rose Camella. Stephanie Rose DeMarco. Lauren T. Clark. William Benjamin Leaf. I'm messing this up, Jilly. J. 
Jillian Lafort. Jamie Lynn Laloya. Joseph Daniel Leonard. Jennifer Lerman. Melissa Minhui Lung. Gregory Michael Levine. Nicole Renee LaRue. It's tough. Eddie Lee. Paul Anthony Lacana III. Ilana I. Lador. Christy Leon Len. Elizabeth C. Lynn. Wilson Lynn. Leslie Carol Lajaruna. Jacqueline Rose Longo. Rachel Esther Lowen. Chi Ann Grace Luan. Benjamin Ruben Luft. Shane William Maddock. Catherine Magalif. Jerry Ekram Malaka. Dimitri Malinsky. Ricky Lee Maltese. Jessica Danielle Mancuso. Marco T. Marbella. Jeffrey S. Martin. Jessica Lynn Marchetta. Marco Mars. Brian Scott Martell. Jessica Lee. Victor Martinez Sanchez. Carol Ann Matthews. Danielle Mary Morath. Daniel Joseph McCarthy. Valerie J. McConnon. Christopher Anthony Martinetti. Christine Ann McManus. Janine Mary McMillan. Igor Medvedev, Michelle Miser, Stephen S. Mertola, Sousen M. Metri, Ala Matus, Vincent M. Milan. Amy Lynn Miller. Mark M. Mina. Jose Luis Miranda, Jr. Sonia Lorena Miranda. Dipti Ram Merchandani. Dimitri O. Mirchenchenko. Matthew Miranov. Ajita Mishra. Luis Felipe Morales III. Michael John Moran. Guido Morel Jr. Jeffrey Brian Moreland. Christopher Moscow. Raul R. Mudam. Clifton Moore. Shayani Mukherjee. Lakshmi Nambiar. Swathi Nambori. Melissa Lynn Navind. Eric James Ng. Gabrielle Rose Nikas. 
Rebecca Ashley Norman. Marcin Ackman. Kevin Brian O'Connell. Radwa Adi Omar. Michael Arthur O'Rourke. Jason Padilla. Joseph Thomas Pagluco. Keti Pan. Ying Xing Pang. Theologia Papadilias. Alice Park. Andrew S. Park. Jian Park. Aditi V. Patel. And Kita B. Patel. Nirja Patel. Scott Wesley Patterson. Michael D. Patfiner. Andrew Scott Perlman. Cara Victoria Pensavali. Alexander Pergament. Milton Mark Bertween Pinlock. Nicholas Manuel Pino. Rebecca, Rebecca Pauline Pohl. Laura Lynn Previtt. Glenn Philip Previs. Rajul Punjabi. Amanda Lynn Persino. Nicole Lauren Rabin. Maya Rabinovich. Eduardo Ramos. Dean Raspa. Boris Rake. James Francis Regan. Jared Ross Pedowitz. Heather Marie Rayner. Paul Adam Richter. Keith Adam Richings. Ryan Rizzolo. Kristen Elizabeth Rogers. Julie G. Robinchuk. Sherry Ellen Rosenberg. Melissa Kress. Michael Adam Rosner. Brian S. Ross. Michael A. Rossi. George Ruffell. David Rue. Joseph Thomas Ruggiero. Jeffrey R. Ruman. Emily Morgan Rushfield. Jeffrey Scott Rushnack. Evelyn Margaret Rusley. Gregory Alexander Rislik. Sharif S. Saad. Himanchu Sani. Brandon Mark Sachs. Jennifer Lauren Salston. Eric M. Saltzman. Michelle Ann Lee Saviejo. Jason Ryan Sanders. Deepa V. Sanidi. Allison Paige Sachs. Julian Sazin. Shannon Marie Scanlon. Stephen Michael Scarpula. Dean Michael Shackman. Justin Evan Scharf. Sabrina Rose Scharf. Michael Jarrett Schober. Ryan Matthew Schmidt. Crystal Schmidt. Michael Allen Schmolf. Danny Ariel Schneider. Daniel J. Schubert. 
Joseph Skoka. Christopher Michael Skold. Brad Andrew Cedar. Sana M. Shake. Elaine Y. Sham. Edvard Michael Seamus. Heng Shea. Boris Shapiro. Brian Matthew Shelsby. Kazan Shen. Stanislav Sher. Seth Matthew Sherman. Vered Sherman. Elise C. Schilling. Annie J. Shin. Tara Ann Kidney. Yaron Shlomi. Inessa Shore. Elizabeth S. Schusman. Ahmed Sadiki. Jason M. Solitsky. Jason Sim. Gregory Simakov. Akil Frost Simon. Jason Alexander Sim. Renu Kaur Singh. Seema Singh. Peter D. Sleeman. Miriam M. Smerat. Dennis Smirnov. Frank Joseph Smith IV. Stephen F. Smith. Walter Arthur Smith. Daniel Hani Solomon. George Magdi Solomon. Michelle Elizabeth Solimando. Samantha Lynn Solomon. Jordan E. Sorkin. Jennifer J. Soto. Raymond J. Speaker. Akila Srinivasan. Brian J. Stagg. Jeffrey Scott Stagg. Brandon Stein. Rachel Elise Strizak. Tyler Cole Henderson Strombaum. Are you sure? I practiced. Kevin W. Sohobieski. Lisa Rachel Suckerman. Celia H. So. Yi Ling Sun. Tonil Hafiz Sayeda. Sia Tang. Sandra Michelle Tannenbaum. Michelle D. Tardif. Eric William Tate. Preeti Naga Tutkia. Christopher J. Tobia. Rebecca C. Tom. Marissa Lee Toth. Brian Michael Toady. Jennifer Travis. Dimitri Tvegoff. Michael Tsibin. Freya Joy Turk. Christopher Michael Terso. Ilana Brooke Unger. Erica Marcella Oranita. Marco Aaron Oreeb. Jennifer Elizabeth Vander Nort. Daniel Vasquez. Jessica Lauren Vasta. Raluca M. Vatan. Michael Veltman. 
Shoba N. Vembar. Rishi D. Barrera. Stephanie Lynn Wayngra. Jacqueline Marie Wallace. Agnieszka M. Wallace. Linda Ye Wang. Michael Karim Wasef. Paul R. Wanson III. Crystal Joanne Waterton. <laughs> Kenneth Allen Weinrob. Daniel Wayne Weiss. Kelly Ann Williams. Jamie Beth Bull. Jennifer Lynette Wojcik. April Diane Wu. Mark Wijen Shong. Kangwook Yi. David J. Young. Natalie N. Youssef. Anthony J. Yan. Zlada Zavorskaya. Julie Zelmanova. Mengju. Jenna Zhu. Richard Adam Zelenkevitz. Maxim Kushnir. Fasia Marie Laduca. Catherine June Ko. Brian Allen Leahy. Bertina R. Lee. Artie Krishnan. Grace C. Lee. Hope Kukunias. Darius Kozlowski. Alana Jill Rosenblatt. Claudette Visco. Megan Michelle Lawrence. Congratulations, class of 2002.